Jacenta is an award-winning documentary that profiles a family caught in the grips of addiction and incarceration. Jacenta is both a daughter and a mother. The family relationships are complex and the story is a powerful one. The film is being screened in Maine as part of the Points North Institute Recovery in Maine program with the hope of encouraging conversation to address the stigma around addiction and substance abuse. I sat down with filmmaker Jessica Earnshaw, Sean Flynn from Points North, and Jacinta Hunt to talk about the film. Jessica Earnshaw was working on another project at the Maine Correctional Center when she met mother and daughter Rosemary and Jacinta. Both were incarcerated and recovering from drug addiction. When like Earnshaw met them, she felt compelled to share their story. Seeing them together and their relationship, I was just really struck by the love and the banter and the, like, the closeness. When you're an infant and you cry, your mom picks you up and comforts you. When I was an infant, my mom cried. She picked me up for comfort. Growing up in Maine, Jacinta did not understand why her mother seemed to come and go. I really believed that for most of my childhood, like before 10, that my mom was really not there. Mm. Um, I guess, you know, doing the film and gathering more information on myself, um, I guess my mom was there in and out through um, her addiction and incarceration. My mother... She always dressed so fancy, and her hair was always done. I wanted to be like her. Being in the space I was able to be in when my mom came back, um, I just absorbed her, <clears throat> excuse me, as an individual. It wasn't until later that I realized that my mom was suffering from addiction. And once I realized what it was, my father never, never put my mom down, never told me she was in jail, never told me she was an addict. He just left it. Once I realized that my mom was an addict and struggling with addiction and incarceration, I kind of took that in as, well, if this is what I have to do to be super close to my mom, then I'm going to do this. My first time being incarcerated, I was 15, and there hasn't been many breaks. What are you doing, Mom? I don't want to get caught at your window. We had just had so much time apart that when we did come back together, I was a little bit older and we were more like friends. And, um, you know, you do what your friends do. Points North Institute organizes the Camden International Film Festival as well as other programs around the state, like Recovery in Maine. And then we just wanted to use these, these really powerful documentary films as a way to bring communities together um, to, to highlight the, the experiences and the perspectives of people in recovery, people seeking recovery, and, and folks that were on the front lines of really trying to find solutions and pull together resources and, and make their communities more recovery ready. It's a powerful thing to, to show a film like this in a community and have many people in almost every audience that we've, we've been with raise their hands and say, you know, this, this reflects my own experience or this reflects the experience of my daughter, my son, my coworker. Um, and I think it's that those are the moments where you can really start to break down the stigma and recognize this is a very common experience, but it's one that when, we, when we're able to pull together as a community, um, we're much more powerful to address. I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm never gonna be a mom. Yeah, the absolute right you made, son. My addiction is way stronger than I am. When we spoke, Jacinta was nearly eight months sober. Uh, my biggest fear was I didn't know where I was going to start. And um, the film opened the door for me and for other people to invite me to see things and experience great things and be in like-minded conversations. And... Um, being able to watch myself be comfortable in those moments and be proud of this film and um, be proud of my family and the way that we've used it um, within our own family to heal has been uh, a gift in itself. And Jessica, I want to know when you hear Jacinta give an answer like that, that's the film that you created and her story that you put into film. How does that make you feel? I was thinking that when she was talking, this is like the greatest gift for me personally as a filmmaker to have Jacinta like take the film and um, 
and build her own story from it, you know? And I mean, I'm, I don't know. I have no words. It's just like, mm -hmm. I, I just feel so, I'm just like, it's the greatest gift, honestly. Jacinta will be screened this Thursday, the 9th, at the Bangor Arts Exchange on Exchange Street in Bangor at 6 p.m. It is free to the public, and also agencies involved in recovery work will be on hand to answer questions about the work that they do. And I did watch that documentary this weekend, and it is amazing and very, very powerful and very hopeful. So it's great to watch.